Good morning, Carmen. Yeah, good morning, guys. So I think it's really good to introduce ourselves first. I am Wyburn. What? Uh, <laughs> I am Wyburn. And I am Wayne. <laughs> and we are two columnists for Cardiff Times magazine. And basically we go running around the city, up and down the country, just covering everything. Showbiz, we do lots of charity work. Um, We've got basically the most fantastic, eclectic lives that we couldn't possibly ask for anything better. And now we're on the radio, so... Just to top the insanity <laughs> off, they've given us an half-hour show, which may progress if we could. Well, we, we and can we'll call. Look, can we? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Hashtag no comment. <laughs> anyway, so we've had this insane week this week. I mean, we've been up to London. Uh, we got invited up to see... The Kinky Boots musical, which is one of my favourite movies. So seeing the musical was a bit apprehensive because sometimes it doesn't quite translate. Yeah, you look so scared. <laughs> you look so scared. Go on, tell them what Going you're across with. those carbonstones in Covent Garden in like... Six inch platform heels, oh, patent red. Yes. Well, we like to we like to make the most standard of every situation. So we thought, what if we're going to see kinky boots? We have to wear some kinky knee boots. High, six inch heels, kinky boots. I think what was so insane though, we were like sitting in Covent Garden, legs crossed, having a vodka, and all these like Japanese, Korean, all nationalities taking photos of us, yes. sneakily having a selfie with us in the background, and, <laughs> and we loved it. We did love it. And the show? Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Five stars. I cried, I laughed, I cried again. I drank vodka and <laughs> vodka and <laughs> laughed at me from Friday. What's, what's the chance of that show coming to Cardiff? Ooh. I think it might be rumoured for a couple of years, but there's nothing set in stone yet. We've heard something. So yes. if people from Cardiff want to see it in the next year or so, they need yeah. to get a film. Yeah, yeah. The Adelphi Theatre. I think, it, to me, it's one of the best shows in the West End right now. Yeah. Without the doubt. It's yeah. from the film, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and they've added a few scenes to it that really make the musical ten times better. That's the bits that I cried were the new bits. And yeah, it just hit me. And the songs. They're absolute killer. I mean, uh, Cindy Lauper done yes. all the songs for the show. Right. And I mean, she's cool. Very cool. Very good. Very yeah. cool. She likes to have fun, <laughs> just like fun. us. Uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> um, but um, I'd like to say that we took the boots off and then we carried on the rest of the night in our usual shoes, but... We didn't. We were in until 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> we found a Korean ka karaoke bar. Which was and us. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure we danced to the North Korean <laughs> national anthem, which was a lot of fun. We should, we should say that this isn't going to be just about... Why burn away no. trips to London? It's going to be a lot no. of what's going on in Cardiff. Yes, um, exactly. What's going on charity wise in the point? Because you, you do a lot for charity. We do too. a lot, yeah. And um, we've had we've got a lot coming up. I mean, uh, what was it last week? It was the big Welsh tea party yes, for Welsh Hearts. Big launch. Um, some very high powered women gathering for some afternoon tea, and then me and Wayne in bright red suits. Everything's red. Yeah. Everything's red. It's the season yeah. of red. Yeah, everything is red with you too, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, included Ooh. the bank accounts. <laughs> <laughs> no entry. <laughs> danger, danger. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be about charity, it's going to be about what's going yeah. on. Yeah. It's also probably going to be about what, what uh, Nathan's doing, because we have some wide British Nathan. Yes. Who is uh, a well known uh, local artist. Yes. Who? Hopefully I can chat about all the crazy things going on in my art career as well. All the different people I meet. Just last week I got to meet uh, Wales football manager Chris Coleman presented him with a portrait at a Boba charity evening he was talking at. So yeah, we link that into all the charity work that we do as well and he gives us that extra clout. And you, do you have a website? We, Facebook, Facebook? We do we do all the all things that people tend to read, Facebook, Twitter, right. you know. It's all so, by away. So yeah. if, yeah, if, you, if you need to, to see what they're doing, go and go. Probably Facebook's the best one I've ever yeah. Or, or your Twitter account is? I'll just go to a pub, we're usually in a pub. <laughs> <laughs> see us, see us yeah, live. Yeah, they're, they're probably better talking to you sober, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you, you said you were, the, it was Kinky Boots you wanted to see. Yes. Yeah. Shall I play a bit of music? Go for it, Carl. Boots, boots. Every time I take that girl, someone should have a Nope. Pull my kid in, I'm wearing her on the flat. Seriously, <laughs> my, my toes could not touch the ground for for like a day after they would why, uh, why do women do it why is it when you two say never again i don't believe you because we're the biggest <laughs> liars in cardiff <laughs>
But we, we find that, you know, we're back and forth to London quite a lot and we're very privileged that we get to see lots of these different shows. And yeah. just yesterday we were interviewing... Ross O'Hennessy. And he's recently set up an acting smoker like class in the school. And he's tutoring one of our friends, Simon. Simon Foxy. And he, uh, Ross, starred in Game of Thrones, um, Hollyoaks. I know the show you want to say, but we can't, can't say it because there's a naughty word now. Yeah. But it's not meant to be naughty way, but it is yeah. still a naughty yeah. word. See, we're being good, Carl. But he's from Game of Thrones. I mean, how big's oh, that? That's huge. Yeah. And, of course, like, it was only a few weeks ago, we, we were at the Brit Awards, and we were very drunk. Very, very, very drunk. And we got to interview Macy Williams from Game of Thrones. Yes, and she, she was lovely. Absolutely. First to run up to us, actually. And she was drunker than us. <laughs> Believe that's, it or not. That's the British Awards. <laughs> right, I, I should let people know it's just gone qu quarter past ten, and they are both sober. Sober? Right? Yeah, they're not drunk. They're not drunk all the time, it's only no. on special occasions. No. Yeah. Every night. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm not working. <laughs> But she was cool. Yeah, she, she was, was really cool. cool. So we get to meet all these amazing talents. And speaking of talent, we actually, uh, for the past nearly eight weeks, we've been judging a talent show. It feels like eight years. It was a very long talent show. Very long talent <laughs> show. In the Kings on Church of the Way, and the prize is to perform at Pride Cymru and have a feature in our Cardiff Times column. And it was a cash prize as well, of £250, I believe. Yeah, I think there was quite a lot of incentives. I think actually, in, you know, at one point, maybe we could get the winner. Come and say a few yeah. words, don't you? You know, it's hey, it's your half an hour. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Well, Carl, you're still the daddy. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> you're still the daddy. I'm only helping, aren't you? You, you know which <laughs> buttons to push. But it was a, it was a great competition, and once again, it just showed us about the talent that is out there in Cardiff as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, definitely, it's very eclectic. Um, loads of singers, dancers. The w the winner actually, Michelin, her name is, um, was a burlesque dancer, and she was fantastic. She definitely brought something different. And she will to pride. Well. She, she brought a lot <laughs> to the competition. <laughs> if you, do you know what I mean? I've seen yeah. the burlesque uh, when yeah. I got Yeah, remember, we, we, yeah. Me, and, me and Colin actually put on a burlesque show Ooh. many years ago. In, huh? in the Gower Pub. In the old Gower Pub, yeah. 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 I have photos of Colin with... Yeah, my bald head was used for something. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> right, we can just, just to let everybody know, we, we've had a text. We've yes. had a text which says, Wyvern and Wayne, you inspire so many people to have fun and just be themselves and never change. Louise. Ah, oh, it's the editor Louise. of Cardiff Times. She's lush. There you go, Louise. Louise. She's lush. Hello to everyone at Cardiff you Times. Do you want to bring Louise on Radio Cardiff? Oh, gosh. Do you want to come? And we'll have to extend it to about three hours. Cause <laughs> if you think we can talk, Louise, Louise is good. And if she's got a vodka, she's better still. Yeah, well, there won't be any vodka on this show. No. Right? No. Not yet. <laughs> no, never. <laughs> we can do. Um, water? No, water. Yeah. Hell no. H2O. Oh. <laughs> Love it. So the past few Sundays have been a bit of a party, so we'd like to play one of our favourite party songs, if that's all right, Carl. Yeah, no problems. This is uh, Rufus and Chuck the Car, and um, Ain't No Body. And there ain't no body. <laughs> no, it's the beginning of the weekend, Carl. This is where it starts, Friday. <laughs> speaking of yeah. partying, Wayne, you're up for a Cardiff Music Award. I am, yes. But I'm up for um, a music festival, which... Me and Colin really started uh, six years ago, maybe. It was a long time ago. Time, time, time sort of goes really quickly when you get to my age. It, it flies. Um, <laughs> uh, it's for Roth Rocks, best music publication. And Radio Cardiff as well is up for three, three awards, awards right? for best radio shows. And you've got A Slice of Jazz. That's recent. The Smashdown. And unique lullaby. So well done, Radio Cardiff as well. So please vote Radio Cardiff and Roth Rocks. We we'll have to put you in touch with Donna because Donna is looking for people to go with as well. So uh, and she can come. I think I know Donna. I think she plays Mischiefs in the Bay. Uh, no, no, not, not that Donna. No, Donna, she's a lot of fun. Oh, Donna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, she is. She is yeah. a lot of fun. Donna's on a management committee of the radio station. So, yeah. so fingers crossed that we're all winners. Yes. <laughs> Best of luck, guys. Yeah. And Nathan, where are you off tonight? I'm off to the Wales Millennium Centre. You know me, I love a show. We, we both love a show. So I'm off to the WMC to see Hello Cabaret, being kindly invited down by Mr. Producer Stephen Parry, who's also a good friend of ours. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's a big, long show of different musicals, different singers um, from lots of different 
theatre production, so I'm looking forward to it. Sounds fun. It will be fun. Yeah. I should go back to say that, that uh, the CMC Awards, or Credit Music Awards, uh, is the 30th of March in the Trencher. Yeah, 30th of March. And please log on the site and give us give us your votes, because we've had great fun over the years with Roast Rocks, and we've raised thousands of money for local charities. And Yeah, that's www.cardiffmusicawards.co.uk. Go on there and vote for Radio Cardiff. And if, if you can't think of anything else to do, vote for Wayne as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> vote, for, vote for Wayne, vote for Radio Cardiff. Let's let's have uh, Radio Cardiff winning some awards. Let's have Wayne winning an award as well. And they, they, he deserves it, and I think the Radio I think we well. deserve it. I mean, I think I think the whole like, ethos behind Roth Rocks was to give unsigned first acts mm -hmm. a chance to play on a stage and play in front of an audience, and I think we were very good at that. I think lots of people got their first chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's, it's, it takes a lot to actually stand up in front of, even if it's five or ten people. Absolutely. Because you, you, you're putting yourself under the spotlight, and those people who have done it, big up to them, and big up to you for, for, for all guys. Which kind of links us into the, our final little mention, which is it does. Mr. Jamie Miller. Have you seen him, Colin, on The Voice? I haven't. I don't watch The Voice, to be honest, but I'm usually out. We'll have to send you a link. He's absolutely incredible. He's doing it for Cardiff. And yeah, originally done a few songs at one of Wayne's Row Throcks events, so we're very proud yeah, of him. Yeah, I think very it was well one of his first big gigs actually at the mm. Globe. Mm. Uh, he came down and he'd done Row Throcks. Uh, we were raising money for the Prince's Trust in Cardiff. Yeah. And he was phenomenal. And to see this young Cardiff boy week in, week out on primetime TV. Killing it. Killing it. Absolutely killing it. He's on Team Jennifer Hudson and she's one of the biggest stars in the world, so incredible. Has he recorded anything? He performed the next song which took him to the quarterfinals yeah. and we'd like to dedicate this song to him. Well, perhaps we need to get him to record something that we can play on the show. You yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. Absolutely. Or bring him in. Yeah, yeah. Have, yeah if he's got time. <laughs> he's going to be a busy Dragon boy for a years, long yeah. time. Well, the papers are tipping him to win, so fingers crossed for him. And we throw in our lots of weight behind him. <laughs> <laughs> we want him to do well. Oh, well. One of you, yeah, one of you with lots of weight, probably, yeah. Uh, we, won't offend, offend, we, won't, eh? we won't say which one. Have you seen his wallet, Carl? There's a lot of weight in that. It's all, it's all two pences. <laughs> which are right. mine. So you want to play a, an Ed Sheeran song, which is one that he sang. Yes. He and thanks to everyone for tuning in and listening to us. Yeah, we've had a ball. It's been a very short half hour, hasn't it? It's been a quick half hour. It, it always is. And can't uh, wait till we get out five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Boyburn and Wayne on Radio Code of 98.7 FM. And this is going to be... Uh, for the foreseeable future, every Friday at 10 o'clock. So uh, make sure you tune in to find out what they're doing, what's going on in Cardiff, and what's coming up. Uh, this is Ed Sheeran taking us up to messages from our sponsors. Cheers, guys. Thank you.